my name is Lisa Young and I'm owner of Illusion Face and Body Art and the Lisa Joy Young channel on YouTube. Before I got into face painting, I was always very interested in artistic things. I um, got into scrapbook designing. I actually designed scrapbook pages for uh, paper companies to help sell their paper. I painted murals, things like that. Um, and then one day I took my daughter to the zoo and we got her face painted. She got a butterfly, which was hideous, but she loved it. She absolutely loved it. I've never seen her more excited in her entire life. So I decided, okay, I have to get myself a kit and do this for her at home because she just loves it so much. So I got home, I ordered a kit online, and I painted her face and I loved it too. I became totally obsessed and I realized that I was pretty good at, at it, so I decided to start a career. Um, one day at the mall, I ran into Donna Hofsty and she's with Always Entertainment. She's a teacher actually at um, the Face and Body Art Convention. And um, I took her car, I showed her my work and she had me working that very weekend. And I worked for her for about a year and I'm just so thankful that I was able to work with somebody that had such artistic talent and had a love for face painting too. I was very fortunate that my first experience with face painting was with Donna. Um, after that I moved up to Northern California and I decided to start my own business so I did illusion face and body art and it was pretty slow at first but after some volunteer work I became really established and it became very successful. Um, when I first started face painting I learned a lot from books, things like that, and there's hardly any YouTube channels. I think Heather had just started doing YouTube channels when I started face painting, and I, or YouTube videos. And I saw that, for me, they were so helpful, and I always decided, well, as soon as I become confident and I have my own style, I wanna do that too, so I could help other face painters who are trying to learn to face paint as well. So I started my channel, and um, I got like zero views. So what I did is I um, entered contests into some big YouTube YouTubers um, contests that they were having. They would have the makeup contest and I won a contest with Juicy Star 7 who's like huge on YouTube and I just got tons of subscribers and my channel grew from there. So I'm really thankful for it. Um, I love what I do. I love face painting. I love sharing what I know with all of you, and it's been so awesome. It's been such an adventure, and I'm so thankful for it, and I'm thankful for all of you guys for supporting me and just being so great. So with my YouTube channel, I do different designs and um, you know help people to learn technique and get some ideas so that they can come up with designs all their own. My style is very clean, um, basic. I like to keep things easy so that you can do them when you have a long line of people because I know for me, I usually have a line of 50 kids and I gotta get through them. And so I try to do designs that are practical that you can use and that the kids will love and that look attractive on the face. So if you're a face painter and you wanna have your own YouTube channel, my advice to you would be to be uh, patient. It's definitely hard to get viewers on YouTube. Enter contests like I did, get your name out there. Um, invest in a good quality camera and make sure you have good lighting because nobody wants to watch it if it's not a good quality video.